YouTube, welcome in. I hope you're doing this well today. Welcome Inja to the to the streamja to the video ja. Uh, we're playing Homebody again, and uh, this game is really sick, dude. Um, so let me give you a brief synopsis about what was happening because I was about to tell my chat this and I thought I'd tell you too, YouTube. So basically, the synopsis of this game is we're playing this girl, Emily, and she's really anxious on coming to this house. She's five hours late to go check out all her friends, and so she gets there at around like 6 30 p.m., I think, and that's really important because time is very crucial in this game. Um, basically, we go into the house and the door is locked behind us. And we are trying to figure out how to escape it because every hour is very important. Every minute that we spend in this house is very important and how we spend it is very important um, because we are stuck in this house and we uh, have this killer that will spawn and try to kill us. And um, every time we die, we start up again at 6 p.m. At the house like we're in it as soon as we're in our house that's what happens um and whenever we remember what happens but the rest of uh the people that we talk to don't remember or we don't know if they don't remember i'm like an hour into the game we like we try to tell them like when we whenever we try to talk to them after we died once they're like hey uh, we were like hey do you remember what happened and then we try to say and then you hear a ding like, you hear, like, a very a sinister ding, and then we say something that we didn't mean to say, uh, which is very fucked up. Um. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you two, drink some water, take your meds, eat some yummy food, treat yourself, you know? Do a big stretch if you need to. But yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's uh that's the synopsis right now on where we're at. And it's a really fun puzzle-solving game. Uh, and I've been loving the shit out of it, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna start it up. This was made by the Game Grumps, by the way. The Game Grumps made another banger video game. First they made Dream Daddy. Now they made this game, dude. Very different game genres, but still they killed it. This game is really fun, and I nobody I haven't seen anybody stream this game. So I'm very very excited to uh, to keep playing it. Alrighty, let's continue it. Oh, spooky sinister. Oh. Okay. What time? Okay. Here we go. I was like, what's my caption saying, bro? Oh, I'm going to turn down the game a little bit for me. Hold up, it's a little bit loud for me. Uh. Already wasted time, good job me. I should have paused, but it's okay. Um, we have one panel. You had it on the background, got you. Yeah, dude, I just like... That's cool that Jeremy played this. I just feel like I haven't seen anybody. By the way, we do have a sub goal going on right now, where if we hit 80 subs, I will read all 456 pages of this book right here. We will have a great story time, and I will read this whole book to everyone here. So, if you want me to read that book, there you go. Um, so let me remember something. I want to open this door. I believe we had to do one, two, and then we just hit this button. Because we got to get to 12 PSI. There we go. And like stuff falls. And that fell down. Then we have this. Um, Illitech brand static pressure pumps operations basics. Every Illitech brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. So the, the one column thing is one, and then the one with the two bars equals five. We absolutely got that. Um... 
with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders reinforced by bulkier housing increase PSI by five units. Input fluid amount is displayed on the left, output PSI is displayed on the right. Input on the left, output on the right. Got you. Okay. So that's kind of like a little tutorial. I kind of want to read that little post-it note. I don't think it lets me read it. That's okay. So at 9.15 is when um, the door opens in the basement. I'm going to go in here, see if there's anything important here. I don't know what the point of flipping the switch is, but that's okay. Interact. Oh, what the fuck is this? Parker, thank you for the vials. I swear these are the last I'll need. Do you remember to change your bandage because I do not plan on taking you to the ER again. The work will be done soon. Rest assured is as convoluted as you feared. See. Interesting. Okay. Also, look at all these scary paintings that are, like, around us, dude. They're so freaky. The Begavid. Oh, my God. There's more books? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, hi, guys. What are you talking about? You all really went in on the artificial stuff, huh? Our receipt was half fruit snacks. Yeah, I don't know what it was about this weekend. I don't usually eat that stuff, but it just feels right right now. Sure, nostalgia and all that. Sure. I love artificial stuff, though. Like blue raspberry. True! Nothing tastes as good as a good fruit snack after, like, a soccer game. And just eating that artificial shit, dude. That's so good. That shit just, like, hits different. You know the... Did you guys ever have the Scoopy... The, the Scoopy gummies, dude? The Scoopy snack gummies? Those, I don't know what it was about it, but specifically the Scooby-Doo stuff hit different, man. Okay, I hope your shift goes super well today, Ari. I appreciate you for lurking, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, dude. Uh, so, um, but yeah, the Scooby-Doo snacks, like, hit different. Blue raspberry doesn't make sense. It's literally not based on anything. There's no such thing as blue raspberry, but we're comfortable with it entirely as a product. True, Joe! Pink lemonade is the same. True. Pink lemonade, like, um, Starburst, dude. Oh, my God, please. Soccer game. I eat fruit snacks after work. I was saying as a kid, but that's also valid as fuck. Just like, I got after work. I'm treating myself to some fruit snacks, dude. Fuck yeah. It's alien bizarre, and that's why I love it. Actually, pink lemonade is a traditional drink. Hysterically, it gets its pink color from strawberries or with the addition of sumac. Oh, wow. If freaking Francine knows all about pink lemonade, what the fuck? And sumac is actually a plant that grows around here. No shit. None. Hi, Emily. Oh, hey, Emily. Uh, Do you remember something messed up just now? Like, I had this weird dream of something scary happening. That would have been a welcome adrenaline spike, buddy. Remember that hills have eyes slash Texas chainsaw situation in college? So... You don't remember the power going out? Yeah, I do. We were driving southwards in the mountains, following signs for a rustic old family fun center. We thought it'd be good for a laugh. So this is what I'm talking about, where we try to talk about what happened when we died, but the game, but something doesn't let us say it. True, Joe. Let's go. But definitely tastes like blue, right? Yeah, I don't know about uh, what is about it, but blue raspberry is just blue and it tastes good, dude. They, like, inject cocaine into it. It's so good. Yep. Our smug, detached irony led us right into a creepy old ghost town. It was cartoonish. The old man had, a uh... Gary, please, this time is so much more serious. The old man had a shotgun in his lap. The old man in the rocking chair had something in his lap. Probably a big Elmer Fudd shotgun. Cliff peeled out there so fast we barely even got a second look at the place. Still can't believe that that wasn't a nightmare. Are you feeling okay, Emily? You look, you look just like you did when we got out of there. Wait, why, why are we talking about this? Emily, are you really that anxious about this weekend? And you're not, Gary? I don't think it's that unusual given the circumstances. I guess you don't remember, but I do. Something's coming for us. I guess it's kind of silly. I'm just trying to keep a lid on it, given the circumstances. I just think there's no benefit on acting that, on that feeling of unsafety, Emily. I'm sorry. I don't know how to make it stop. You don't have to apologize, Emily. We're here for you. 
Uh, does this house give you Hills Have Eyes slash te Texas Chainsaw vibes, or is that just me? I mean, it's a little more uh, uster than Texas Chainsaw, but no, it's it's not just you. There's something unnerving about it. It's nice, but it's like too nice, you know? I've been looking around for hidden passageways, or at least a dumb waiter to hide in. Did anybody see that movie? Oh, fuck. What was it called? Oh, I can't remember. It was like red text. Um, it was where a, uh, a uh, guy and a girl uh, go to his Airbnb, but like the girl thought the Airbnb was free, but for some reason, the guy was there still. And so she was like, oh, fuck. And then uh, in the basement, uh, it went down for like a thousand levels. And there was like some crazy fucking insane shit that went on i i wish i wish kale or chad were here because they know what i'd be talking about it was a fucking insane movie uh that strangely had to do with incest it was a fucking wild ass horror movie um and there's like an old man still down there it was a fucking insane movie i wish i could remember it was like massacre or something i can't i can't remember barbarian was it called barbarian hold on I, I have to look this up now or else it's going to drive me crazy. Scary. Movie. Yeah, it was called Barbarian. Barbarian was fucking insane, dude. Uh, here we go. Barbarian, dude. This movie, fucking crazy. Fucking insane, that movie, dude. Sorry, that just reminded me of that. It sounds like a core memory for me. Yeah, dude. Uh, not core memory, but it just like reminded me of that. H hidden passageways and shit like that. That just like remind me of that movie. Grape flavor is nothing like the fruit. It's just purple. True, Ari. Yeah, grape is just like, oh, it's purple flavor. Had cotton candy grapes? No, I haven't. That sounds incredible, Dusty. Where do you get them from? Or is it at, like, a state fair kind of thing or whatever? Like, they're so good. What the fuck? I don't, I've never heard of con candy grapes before. Uh, the trees around here are so gnarly. Yeah, a kid could to would totally mistake them for clawing at their window. We're going to have to sell for hiding in closets if something shows up looking to kill us. <gasps> oh, shit. Wow, that's kind of like foreshadowing, I guess, huh? Now, we just need our wacky friend who never takes anything seriously to do a fake-out mass killer prank, you know, as a misdirect. Wouldn't that be me? You're definitely a prime candidate. I've got my eye on you. Oh, shit, bro. They're super sweet grapes. You can find them in grocery stores, but they're hell expensive. Got you. Yeah, I've never heard of cotton candy grapes before. Got you, Dusty. I, I literally was thinking that I'm as cotton candy. Okay, I have to be honest. Like, do you, like, have a grape and you wrap it around in cotton candy? Or is it, like, cotton candy, but just, like, really grape-flavored? But if it's just, like, grapes that are just called classified as cotton candy grapes, then, dude, that sounds really good. Yeah, I've never had them before. They're served as a delicacy? Damn, they must be really sweet. Holy shit. Does tonight feel kind of weird to you? Oh, what's the plan for tonight? Damn. Won't even let's say that, huh? We're talking about watching a movie later, I guess. For now, I'm just going to watch Megan play video games and see if Cliff needs help in the kitchen. Okay, so we're kind of learning what Gary does tonight. He goes to watch watch uh, the homie play video games and then goes to talk to Cliff. Cliff is working on dinner right now, but he says he should be done soon. Uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Later. Read newspaper article. It's happening last Tuesday. The group of young men and women run a game of creative and professional aspirations. A right here, a hyper-realist painter here, an industrial engineer turned performance artist beside. The latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose throughout the past year as a holder of revivalist happenings of the highest order. Her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. But just last week, the group to which Jones belonged belongs gathered in dis disused steel plants beneath a meteor shower to take in her life's work, orchestrated with her cray partner, Parker Nest. Interesting. Okay, so we get nothing from this. 
<laughs> General! Hey, thanks for the lurk to do. I hope we're doing Swalcha today. Welcome in. Hello. It was my fault. No, you're good, Dusty. <laughs> you're good. I'm fucking stupid, dude. I'm the one that's stupid. <laughs> it was so sweet and you still remember? Oh my god, Chaos. It's like that core of a memory. That's fucking wild. I'll need to try some. That sounds incredible. Is there anything else? Ooh, what's... Examine Frankenstein. You can literally just read Frankenstein? In this game? Dude, what the... What if we just, like, flip through it, huh? Hopefully just flip through all Frankenstein really quick. Used to work at a fancy restaurant, and cotton candy grapes were one of the things they used in the... Oh! In the... For the amuse boche? Amuse boche? What does that mean? Dude, that's really dope. Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. I'm just scrolling through this, by the way, and see if we, like, find something in the book. I- uh, this is actually fucking insane, Game Grumps, that you did this. You just literally put entire- Are you allowed to do this? Just put entire- like, the Frankenstein book? I mean, I- I feel like Frankenstein's a really old story, right? That you can, like- You can probably just put in anything now, right? Without having to worry about copyright? Wait, did I- Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something like, uh, fucking insane. I'm like watching to see if there's anything like interesting. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. He sprung. My ashes will be swept into the sea by the winds. My spirit will sleep in peace, or if it thinks, it will not surely think thus farewell. He sprung from the cabin window, as he said this, upon the ice raft which lay upon to the vessel, close to the vessel. He was soon borne away by the waves and lost in darkness and distance. The end. Wow, great, great story time, everybody. Oh, type of palate cleanser. I've never heard a muse boucher as a term for palate cleanser. That's very interesting. How fancy. <laughs> One of the books is missing from an otherwise full bookshelf? Oh shit. That's interesting. Okay. About Frankenstein, can we pick that up? No? Okay. Hey Francine. Oh gosh, you look so creepy. I guess no one can hear me. I'm sorry I'm late. Hey, Emily, what's up? Uh, I want to cry when I look at them, but I guess I'll just talk about the weather or whatever. It's it's nothing. <laughs> talk to you later. See you soon, Emily. Yeah, we will see each other soon. Uh, when uh, you all die in a horrible way, smile. Okay, so there's this blue wire right here. Where's this blue wire go? The teal wire leads up to the box with a little spotlight. Guess the power box in the living room powers this on? Interesting. We really gotta figure out how to turn on that power box, dude. What's in here? Okay, that's locked. Check machine. Oh shit, it's one of these puzzles! Got you. Okay. Oh god, I kinda already fucked this up. Okay, that does that. What's that sound, bro? Does it come from here? Ooh, what's in here? We'll, we'll try to figure out that puzzle here in a little bit. I kind of fucked it up already, but we'll figure it out. The computer is an, un an uninterruptible power supply. I guess that means it's important. Okay. Oh, we can hide in here. Okay, bet. Also, I love how it does a first-person view when you hide somewhere. I think that's really great. Yeah, those kind of puzzles, dude, that I'm not good at them, but I'll figure it out. 
uh, holy lighting strikes th thrice. You are baptized in the great gunshot of it, the halo your skull makes against the night. There's little to do, but welcome. Oh, this is eulogy for the chosen few. Sorry. There's little to do, but welcome it. That swallowing dark, welcome what news beneath your flesh. Greet the worms in your lungs. Here they are at home. Look to the distant star. Uh, that cold, coy wink and rejoice a new you is risen. Emerge from your skin to discard the husk. You will not recognize the thing you used to be. From the dirt and from the skies, we have made you whole. From your hands falls a uh, soft summer rain in your eyes a cleansing fire. Cherish your rewards and look back upon the path you create to, to paradise. An altar, a chapel. That sacred place where you confess the things you thought you were better than. What does that mean? Hello? Inspect pamphlet. There's a bunch of these, like, safety pamphlets everywhere, which is interesting. Or what does that say? A safe kid's guide to logging online. Guys, this is very important. Make sure this will be on the quiz later. A safe kid's guide to logging online. Oh, that's your parents' permission before surfing the web. Don't give anyone your personal information, like what school you go to or your birthday. If you see something that makes you feel funny, tell a trusted adult right away. Never agree to meet someone you met on the internet in real life ever. Jenny, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, guys. Jenny and I can't meet up. That's unfortunate. I have to listen to the pamphlet. Very bad things can happen to you. Ask yourself, can you ever really know a person? Would you even want to? If you want to say in front of grandma, don't say it online. <laughs> don't open emails or IMS for strangers. Uh, they could have viruses, bad pictures, or could just be trying to play a mean trick on you. Don't risk it, everybody. <laughs> Me? Yeah, Ari, I'm like, I have done all of these things. I have literally met so many people that I met online in real life. <laughs> Guys, can't go to the Christmas party this year at Ray's place. Unfortunate. The pamphlet told me so. What the fuck is up with this? Look into hole. What the fuck? Okay. Examine post-it note. Next to the keypad diagram, there's a sticky note. 12. All that's on is number written thin open block letters. 12. What's that sound, bro? Examine flyer. It's a flyer for an electron clock. Maybe from the 80s? The illustrations have that gauzy, airbrush look they did then. It says it has an optional electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate on loss of power. Wait. Deactivate on loss of power. Okay. Handwritten note. Let's read the note. Clara, someone will be coming by from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as a specified as specified on the form and lock up the schematic plus combination in the seller cage. The seller cage when done. Wait, didn't we get this get something from the seller cage? Yeah, yeah, Ari, exactly. Smile. Me as a person who has had their phone numbers shared live on stream on raised stream. <laughs> Doxing doesn't scare me anymore. <laughs> Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you. Parker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? I can't tell if you're working to keep something out or keep something in. And why would they even want to go in the attic? I want to see you leave the house again someday. See. Let's use the computer. Oh, God. Oh, this is Minesweeper. This is literally Minesweeper. Hold up. Okay, so this is a bomb right here. So we know this one can't be one. This can't be one. This can't be one. And this can't be one. Uh, this is one. And this is one. There we go. You win. Nice. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so this is probably like a code. Dude, I'm so glad I know how to play Minesweeper. <laughs> anybody, anybody here know uh, know how to play Minesweeper, dude? I remember. I remember I was, um... Well, I'll make sure time is paused. I remember I... So, when I learned to play Minesweeper, I was working at um, a barcade called Nirvana, and we had a little computer screen. And, um... I was so fucking bored because I was... A, I, was a, I worked as a host there. And, uh... During around, like, two or three... Like, after the lunch rush, so, like... From, like, two to, like, five o'clock, it's very slow. And so I was just sitting at, at, we have this, like, little tablet to where you could actually play games on it if you wanted to. You could go to, like, a browser and do it. 
uh, and there was a Minesweeper. One of the options was Minesweeper. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to learn how to play Minesweeper. And so that's how I learned. I got really fucking good at it. I used to be like that, Ari. I used to be uh, that kind of person where I would just like click randomly. But I was like, no, how does this actually work? And um, for people that don't know, the numbers represent how many bombs are right next to that block. So the one at the top there represents like there's one by it. And that two in the number you can see in the top right means there's two bombs by it. And you can see there's like two bombs by it. So that's what the numbers represent uh, and how you can like figure out. Doxing might not scare me more, but saying happy birthday does actually true, Dusty. Actually true. If you say happy birthday to me, it's a it's a it's a jump scare, actually. Ah! Oh! oh my god. Bathroom pump, we got that. Oh, it just tells you the the solve. That's really nice. We got that. That's a seller. Why right? We have the seller combination. 278. 278. We need to find which place has uh, 278 on it. Dude, Ari, when Chibi kept wishing me happy birthday, I was like, what universe am I living in that Chibi would... And everybody in Crab Game wishing me happy birthday and singing happy birthday? Oh my god, bro. Help me. <laughs> Help me! This is a code for something. So we need to find a 4x4 four four grid. And that will probably be a, an answer for us. Happy birthday! How dare you. Uh. Uh. By the way, that thunder strike means that the uh, basement is now open because the power went out. The power go always goes out at 9.15pm. I'm going to look out the window. Oh god, I don't, I don't like doing that. No, thank you. I do not want to look out the window. TB hates when people wish her happy birthday and it's not her day. So she's just a fucking... Uh, <laughs> what, is, what is the word when you do something but you also hate it? Ironic? The, the How ironic it is that she's telling me happy birthday when she hates ha people when when her chat tells her happy birthday. Dude, next time TB is streaming, I'm going in and I'm resubbing and I'm going to tell her happy birthday. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to get chat to spam happy birthday in her chat, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly Dusty, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's all wish her happy birthday, smile. <laughs> I I actually I was watching uh I was watching Ray's POV last night on YouTube for Crab Game, and dude, it's so fucking funny. When Ray, oh my god, when I got I was like in a corner and I got the hat thing to like hold the crown, I was hiding behind a box, and then <laughs> I got the crown, uh, and I was just able to hide. Ray was just like, oh my god, dude, the white people privilege. <laughs> I was just like, Ray, please! <laughs> Not during his Hispanic heritage month, please. I'll give you. He was dead. He was dead to be fair, so I will give it to him if I could. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Was, I did. I did. I in a video game. I was just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You gotta be shitting on my dick, Joe. Uh, hello, close. Oh, my my uh my controller died. Hold up. I was like, why is my battery not moving? It's because the the battery died. Hold up. Swap in batteries. There we go. Then let me start charging this one. Just so it's like charged and ready to go. I'd like a whole charging station for like these battery packs. Okay, nice. We're good to go. Yeah, that was the clip that you sent me. It's so fucking good. I'm dead in a video game, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did that she outed me immediately. She's a fucking narc. <laughs> She's such a narc, I Oh my god. She's like, oh, there's a guy here. I'm like, god damn it, TV. <laughs> Not in game. Yes, in game. What do you mean? Yo, what's up, M? Hi, M. Over doing Soldier today. Okay, let's try to figure out this puzzle. Um, so... 
We need to do that. Let's do that. That. Ah! Easy clap. Wait, did that do anything? Wait, what did that do? I, I lit it all up. Oh! Oh, God, Francine, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Francine scared me, bro. Wait, what's she doing? Francine? Francine, hey. What's up? The dot, dot, dot question mark is freaking me out. Do you have a feeling of deja vu, Francine? Like, I have a feeling you've been here in this room before. In a nostalgia way, you mean? No, like literal. Then no. Are you doing okay, Emily? Well, god damn it. Okay, they're, they're just clueless. Or, or, Chaos, can I help you? Chaos, hello? Dude. Do they also remember, but they also can't say anything to me because whatever kind of power is preventing all of us from saying what we actually want to say? No, you can't! Well, I'm just up a creek without paddle, aren't I? I just remember being here in this room before, before that thing showed up, and we won't let it set that. No, I, uh... No, I think I just need to sit down. Are you dehydrated? Is your blood sugar low? Uh, I'm gonna try to fix this. We're gonna try to figure this situation out. Okay. Later. So we figured that out. Okay. Ein, please. Ein, can I help you, Ein? M, can I help you? Um. Okay, so I think we need to start going downstairs now. We need to go downstairs and see if there's like, um. Oh, wait, I think that code, this code, uh, right here. Is to get into the basement. Um, you started the thing, you sure did. <laughs> uh? Okay, let's go in here. What's up with this? Reminder the fluid in this tank is source for all pumps in the house. This is the source for all fluids in the house? Okay. This is important. When not pro improperly calibrated, a pump's position above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For a pump's position below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. Okay. Nothing's happening while I'm pressing this. Probably because the power's out, maybe? The garage door opener doesn't work. Guess the front door is the only way out. Okay. So there's 1913. We don't have any four number codes, do we? Don't believe we do. Oh, God. Damn it, Cliff. Fuck. F Dude, whenever I see someone walking around, I think it's the killer. I really, really do. Cliff. Hey, Emily. Um, do you remember something messed up just now? Like, I had this weird kind of dream, something scary happening. What? Didn't you walk in the door like a minute ago? Um, the lighting was intense. That lightning, that was incredibly loud. It's not even raining out. Yeah, I know that too. There's something eerie about. Um, so if the front door needs power to open, the power's out. Who would design it that way? Um, we need jury rig it. Yeah, good luck with that. Talk to you later. Wait, where is this? Oh, this is the front. Examine lock. Oh, uh, what if that thing shows up again? The front door might be the only way out of here. I'll have to figure out this lock. Yeah, so examine power box. Power box is power on. There's the old black striped. Um, we need to figure out when the killer starts coming out. The, uh, the clock is still at um, 1030, right? Yeah. Wait, long ago... That might be important. Longo may be an important uh, term. 
I'm just like trying to absorb in all these important details, dude. Wow, wow. What's up, General? Hi, General. Hello. God, Cliff stared at me again. Cliff feels like he's everywhere. Uh-oh. I think I just heard someone get murdered. Look out window. Okay. Okay, let's go down here. Check locker. I don't know what that sound means. It's a yellow and black, a uh, black and red wire. Oh, hold on. This is um, this is the input. We don't know what we need for it though. I don't think. Seventeen. Hold on. Let me look at this. Two seven eight is what we need to get into the the cellar. 17 right here, dude. 17 right here. Oh my god. Check machine. Um. Okay, I hear people dying. People are dying. Smile. Uh, what was the thing? Um. It was, uh. Is 278 the code? 278 is not the code. Oh god, I'm just like scared of what um the guy come down here. Read the plaque. Okay. Nothing down here. Nothing interactable. What's up with this blue wire, bro? Wait, what's up with this? There's something to Wait, I, I thought I saw something to interact with. Hello? Oh, I think it's this cable thing. Fuck it, dude. I'm just gonna try and mess with this thing. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not ready to solve this yet. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely missing a clue. Uh, let's check this machine. <gasps> Wait, real quick. Real quick. I think I know... Wait, this is 4x4. Four four. This is a This is a 4x4 four four grid and we use the minesweeper thing. Oh my god, I know what we need to do. We have to do that one. That one. I'm being a gamer. Oh my god, I'm gaming right now. Banger. Let's fucking go. Oh god. Oh god, he's he's here. He's here. Yep. All right. Um Oh, they're right there. They're chasing me. They're chasing me. Yup, 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 yup. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta loop the killer. We're going back up. I'm not dead. I'm still gonna live. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try to, um... Yup, everybody's dead. Smile. Okay. We're gonna try to loop them. Okay, and we're, we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go, oh fuck, I went the wrong way. We're gonna go back down here and we're just gonna try to figure this out before he kills us. Let's check this out. Check the power box. Did that turn everything on? Okay, okay, he's back down here again. Okay. We're gonna wait for him to come around here. There he is. Okay, we're just gonna keep running. Is he getting faster? They may be getting a little bit faster. But now that the power's on, we can check the machine. Um, 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 okay, this is a lot. This is a lot right now. 
Dude, I feel like it's definitely getting faster. Oh my god, definitely is. Holy shit. Um, okay, we're gonna try to go upstairs and loop it that way. I'm just trying to get the most out of this fucking run, dude. Hold on, can we, like, hide in this? Does this work? Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, I was, like, clipping through the currents. I was like, maybe this works? I'm running generators, dude. Fix that generator. Okay, okay, I'll hide. I'll hide in the locker. Bottoms always die. How dare you? Okay, new cutscene. Hey, Emily. Pete? Dude, we figured out a lot on that run. That was really good. Also, what's up, Darkpool? I hope you're doing swatches today. It's so good to see you. You moved? I did move a little bit, but I, I thought I was fucked either way. I really didn't think that was going to hide me chaos. I really didn't. I tried, but it was, like, fruitless. And plus, now we, we got a lot of things to do. Uh, Pete? I know that look in your face. You've been trying... You've been tying yourself in knots, running this night through your head over and over again, trying to think of a way out. You see the house with its door locked and power out, some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my th throat slit. Am I right about that last part? Yeah, I'm afraid that you're dead. I don't know, maybe you've you've got something to do with this? No, you just flaked on us? Wait, is Pete the one that's like murdering us? What the fuck? I don't know. Maybe you've got something to do with this? Who's to say? Good thing the cellar opens on its own, huh? I know you're technically not supposed to go down there, but you're technically not supposed to get murdered either. The note in the main bedroom may seem like combination is down the cellar somewhere. It's some kind of cage. Could that be the cage with the color? Okay, so this is like, hey, we're going to give you some hints because you keep fucking dying. You idiot. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. Interesting. So P is here to, like, help us. All right. Let's just get started. This is, uh, 278, I believe. 278. There we go. Nice. And now we have the, um, we have that right there, and we have the cellar combination, which is connect- I like how everything is, like, connected, which is very interesting. 12. Oh, 12 is, um... Wait, hold on. Let me go up here really quick and make sure that's, um, 12 is the, uh, thing that we, uh, we got, right? From this. Examine the bookshelf. Or not that, sorry. This right here. I think 12 is where we got this clue from. Oh, I guess this is what that 12 sticky note was all about. It's page 10. 110. Okay, got you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this, this right here is, like, I'll figure it out. This was all to help us figure out how to get inside the, the cellar. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool that they give you Pete to kind of figure out. So we're going down here. What if we play this now? I have no idea what that sound is supposed to mean. But now, let's check the machine. And it was, what was it? It was that one, that one, and that one. Got you. That one and uh, that one. Boop. Check power box. Turned on. Okay. We have that turned on, so now let's go back up. We're literally trying to, like, speedrun this shit, bro. <laughs> Check the machine. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, my God. This is some wire switching shit. Ain't no way, bro. Okay. Okay. So, minus plus is a no-no. Plus plus is a yes, yes. Minus, minus, this is a yes, yes. Okay. Um, so it's like telling us how to do the wiring? Oh, um. So are we trying to get the... Oh, God. Okay. I'm trying to see... How are we gonna get... Oh wait, I see at the bottom, the plus and the minus. The plus and the minus. 
This plus at the bottom needs to be connected to both pluses, I think, is what I'm realizing. Oh god, this is literally some puzzle shit, bro. Okay. So we have one plus connected to that. Um. Yeah, so that's good. And then, oh, wait. Okay, that's, that's connected. That's good, yeah. Oh, shit. But we need this, like, minus... Um... No, this needs to be... Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. No, I think it has to be like this. Or maybe like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but then... Hold on. Let me look at these notes on the right. I haven't really studied them. So... Oh, what the fuck, man. Mm. God damn it. That scared me, Jenny. <laughs> I love Overdude Soldier today. Oh, 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 I see, I see what we're doing. So we want to decide whether we want power the left wire or the blue wire. Hi, Jenny. Hi, love. I hope you're doing soldier today. I'm glad you got back home safely. I love you. Um, okay. Let's try to get this power thing connected to the bottom. No, we don't need to do that. God damn it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And then we need this little minus thing. Connected to that. And then this plus thing needs to be... Um... Dude, this puzzle's fucking insane. Holy shit. I love you too. Oh my god, she loves me, guys. Oh my fucking god. That's my girlfriend right there, buddy. Okay, the power is out. But I'm working on it. Hmm. It says... Okay, so we have minus, minus. I really want to connect this uh, middle wire. Okay, so I don't want to fuck with this one right here. That one's good. Right? Yeah. So, how can we move this wire right here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Aha! Get the fuck out! Okay, okay. Wait, did that unlock it? Open the door! Get out! Get out! Run! What the fuck? What's happening? Uh, hello? Run! I can't move! I can't move! Oh, I got Chima says escape the house. Hello, Emily. Who the fuck is this guy? It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're that old guy I met at the gas station. At least I think there's a gas station. My name is Parker Nest. Okay, so this is Nest. Do you feel strange spending so much time? Oh, this is the guy that has the home? What the fuck? Hold on, I gotta blow my nose ever real quick, everybody. Are we good? What the fuck, dude? Jenny Twig likes all the pink? <laughs> oh, 
a dope pink shit? Yeah, dude, I took the fattest shit that was pink as fuck, bro. <laughs> I do like all the pink, though. Yeah, pink is a great color. Absolutely. Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Ugh, please make sense. Tell me, when that creature, the homunculus... Okay, so it's called the homunculus. When it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything from when you die? Yes, but I'm learning to ignore it. What the hell kind of question is that? Homunculus? Is that what that thing is? Um, I'll just answer this question. Uh, yes, but I'm learning to ignore it. Yes, but I'm... Yeah, okay. It's like an illusion now, since I know the next loop is coming right up. Hmm. Funny. That's not what your friend said. I guess it's different since I keep coming back. Wait, my friend? Who? Yeah, who are you talking about? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you'll know why it appears so cruel. Wait, what? Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you'll know why it appears so cruel. In the attic, you'll find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me about sometime before he pissed off to Tanglers. Tangiers? I don't know. Called it an immaculator. Supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. What the fuck? We're gonna reassemble all our cells and shit, bro? I built it believing it would extend my Halicon days. Ha or Hal Halcyon days? Of course, I was in my 50s. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help regain s some of the feeling I once had. <laughs> Jenny? Jenny posted this really great clip where uh, it was this girl talk about how men back in the day just kept thinking about like Julius Caesar and like Rome and stuff and like they were gay for it dude they were so fucking gay because they just could not th stop thinking about Julius dude Halcyon that's how you say it got you that 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 TikTok was so funny Jenny it's like bro these guys are gay they keep thinking about Julius Caesar and Rome bro they're gay as fuck um Naturally, it didn't help me regain any of that feeling. What? Is this the walls of Rome? Instead, over time, it made the house. It made you. It made that thing, the homunculus. And it made a liar out of me. Okay, so this guy made, like, a device that made this whole thing happen. The only comfort that, bring, that brings me regarding the... The predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you, but it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect I suspect that the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. The Immaculator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone can change it or unmake it. The fuck? Says 9.30 on the clock. What the fuck? Okay, so when we get out, we just fucking die? Holy shit, dude. What's happening? Okay, how do we get to the cellar- the- the- the attic then? We have to, like, try get- take it out or something? Yeah, we're it basically we're like it's like Groundhog Day, N Dessa. I don't know if you ever seen that movie, but it's like everything just is on a constant time loop until we can finally like do something different that changes. Like, <laughs> she did the open door like animation thing. That's so funny. It looks so dumb. This leads just back into here, right? Yeah. Okay. Best movie ever. Groundhog Day is very iconic, dude. Fuck yeah. Also, I don't know what to do with this. Let's follow this blue wire. And try to figure out what it does. Oh, wait. Is the blue wire connected to the, the power thing? Probably, right? Let's go down. 
It's a good one, though. Yeah, it's a very iconic movie. Was it uh, Adam Sandler in that one? No, it's not Adam. What the fuck was that? Did anyone just see that hopping across the... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck was that? Did anybody see that little thing like... Bill Murray! Uh, that's his name. Sorry, I get... I'm so bad with actor names, dude. Bill Murray was in Groundhog Day. That's who it is. Um, I, I know the face, dude. I'm just so bad with actor names. Um, but I saw like a rabbit hopping across there. I was thinking Happy Gilmore. Truja, Truja, Truja. Two, seven, two, seven, three. No, it was two, seven, eight. Sorry. There we go. Then we go down here. Then it was this, this, and that. Go in here, turn the power on. Also, this is connected to a bunch of things. The yellow, yellow, blue, red. What's the yellow wire connect to? Oh wait, I know what it is. What about the red wire? Let's, let's check upstairs. See if there's anything with like a red wire that's connected to it. Is there a red wire in here? No. Okay. There's a blue wire right here. I don't remember seeing a red wire anywhere though. No red wire, no. Examine the bookshelf. There's a book missing from the bookshelf, so we gotta find a book somewhere. Excuse me, sir. I have to figure out the puzzle for this one. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> click. I, I, I forgot Click was a fucking movie, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Chaos. God damn it. I'm Sandler, dude. What a fucking... What a freaking person. They both have Mabel's that burrow caddy shack. Oh my god. I mean, you're not wrong, you know. Oh wait, there's an X. There's an X over the front door lock. They're like telling us like, hey, don't even mess with that, bro. Don't even mess with it. Oh, and they gave us the solution. Is this a solution to open the left door? Yes. Oh, my God. So nice they do that for you. How sweet. Dude, the, this was really well done. I love this. I love this. They're like, hey, you know, we. I know you solved this. Here's the picture on how to do it. So minus. Okay. So now we need to get the minus to the right one and the plus to the right one. So let's do that. Um, let's do that. Um, no, we need to do that. Okay, so that's connected. Now we need this minus one. Okay. No, we need that. Wait. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. That's good. Okay. Now we just need this minus to be connected to this. No. Okay. Okay. Wait. Well, if we do this and then change it to something like that. Mm, we're so close. We're so close. Hmm. 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 Oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Sorry. Um, okay. No. No. Wait, what if we do something like that? Okay. Okay. 
God damn it. Okay, the power's out. That's fine. God damn it. Yo, what's up, Foster? First, dude, good job. You got it. Well done. <laughs> dude, you're a fucking gosh gamer. You're insane. Okay, no, we can't do that because that disconnects that from the plus. Dude, I'm, I'm struggling. Maybe we're just doing it the wrong way. No. Hold on, let me do something like this. No, because then that disconnects the plus from doing that. I think we that that has to be there. Um, yeah, I'm struggling. Hmm. Oh wait. Okay. That's just like the same thing. Okay. That's just connected to that. No, I think we I think we do need that because Yeah. Okay. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is difficult. This is difficult. Um Hold on, let me check this right here. Did these have to be... Okay, they cannot be connected to each other. So we do... Uh, we need to have it like that. And then... Ah! -ha! Wait, that was it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, if we do that, and then that... Yo, what's up, Digi? I hope we're doing Swatcha today. Welcome in. He's a fucking gosh gamer. Let's fucking go. Oh, you know what? I should. I. I totally, guys. I totally ignored the notes on the on the the yellow note. I am on the right. I was just. I was being stubborn, just trying to figure out by myself without looking at anything else. Oh, thank you so much, Digi, dude. I hope work goes super well for you today, and uh, I hope it goes by super quickly. Thank you so much, dude. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. Okay, so the blue wire is connected. So let's go up. Let's follow the blue wire. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Okay, so this one, this one, we got we got a special note now. So those two and those two need to be lit up and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Remember when my bitch ass tried to make all these lit, lit up, bro? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's uh, do that. So, hold on. Let's do that and then do this. Let's do that. And then we can make those light up. Make those light up. Hmm. And puzzles. Puzzles. Let's go. It's puzzle time. We want to make that lit, not make those lit. But then I want that to be lit. But no, we need the top two to be lit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, how do we make those two lit? Okay, we can't do that. Let's do that. Then do that. No. Turn that off. Do that right there. Okay. Do that. Turn that off. Need that to be lit. Oh, so close. We're so close. God damn it. Oh god, I hear it. Is it like 1050? Oh god, it spawns from there! That's where it spawns from. Okay, now we know. Dude, you gotta go! You gotta run! No, I'll protect you! No! Wait, is he gonna keep chasing us? Okay, yeah, you just take her out. You just take her out. And we're gonna... So it comes from somewhere in here. Oh wait, this is open now. Let's check this machine. What the fuck does this mean? 
Uh, is can, can we read the note? Is there a note we can read somewhere? Oh god, oh god, it's coming in here. Oh no, we're fucked. We're so fucked. Ooh, ooh, dodge! Dodge just Damn. <laughs> Bye. Oh, dude, this game is so fucking fun, dude. I love this. So that's where it spawns. How interesting. Oh, what? We're talking to Cliff now. So at that point, I look at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down, but I don't want to back down. And we stared that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. Turned out he was joking. Huh. So that happened at the roadhouse, huh? Yup. Wait, are like Emily and Cliff a th were a thing? Were they a thing, dude? Huh. I haven't been to the roadhouse since we were all there together. The first time we watched the, uh... The Persides. That must have been, what, like, three years ago? Yep. Glad you had occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very inconveniently. <laughs> oh my god. You won't have come otherwise? I thought Pete was the flaky one. I've been really anxious about coming back here. If my grandma was still alive, I probably wouldn't be here. I've been busy. Uh, just be honest. I've been really anxious about coming back here. Oh, they won't let us. I've been busy. So relax, we're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site where I've been working. Why? And why are you telling me this now? We're gonna get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a later start time. I wanna make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? What? Last time we talked, you seemed crazy about that job. Last time we talked it was like 14 months ago. Oof. Oofja. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. Okay. Wait, didn't we just pass the Riverside exit? Isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day it is, Emily? August 13th? Friday. August 13th. Friday and it's a 13th? Friday the 13th? Oh no. That's not, that's not a good combo. That's not a good combo. So what, you're superstitious now? Wait, are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around these, those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. Buddy of mine, Martin, kind of an older guy. Wife and two kids. He's spotting another guy, Brian, as he's bringing in a dump truck full of gravel, laying a foundation. The truck hits a bundle of, re of rebar. The scaffold collapses. Martin falls into the pit and the truck ch tips behind him. Just enough to dump all the gravel on top of him. Oh, shit. That's brutal. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free. He's responsive, feeling okay. Miracle. But turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him, right? All that weight. It's pushed all the oxygen and the blood up into his brain and blow the waste he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they pull him out of there, all that blood's gonna go racing to his legs. He's gonna go into shock, and his brain's gonna die. Oh, shit. Dude, the human body. Can we talk about real quick about how insane the human body is? And, like, how, like, many different, like, intricacies go on with our bodies? It's fucking insane. <laughs> Jenny? Dude, love you, dude, Bruce, so fucking easily. <laughs> Um, it's insane that something like that can happen. There's like, oh yeah, we're gonna pull him free, but he's gonna go into shock and die because like all the blood is all up in his upper body. If it goes down, he's just gonna go into shock and die. Like that kind of shit is fucking blows my mind. Fucking insane. Um, so this is it. They bring in his family, explain, explain the situation. They hug him, say goodbye, and then they winch him out and he's gone. Isn't that what happened in Signs? I've never seen Signs before, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. Signs? The M. Night Sh Shyamalan, uh, Sh Shyamalan movie? Signs? The guy's wife gets hit by a truck and he goes to say goodbye to her? It happened. It happened to somebody I know, Emily. And it's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. <laughs> Oh, shit. Mm, we don't deserve this. I've seen you die so many times. I'm not going to let that happen to you. We're going to get out of here. Sorry, Cliff.
Ellipsis. Don't mention it. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? Dude, that big sun? That's like... That's the imagery, dude. The big, like, hole in the sky, you know? Okay. So, the guy comes out... At, like, 10, 10, 15, 10, 30-ish? Okay, so we have that puzzle we gotta figure out. So, first... We got we we know that here's the line, okay? Two, seven, eight. We go down here. We go turn this thing on. Or actually we don't even need this anymore because we know what the combination we need. Never mind. Ignore me. Ign well we'll we'll turn it on just in case we do need it. We'll turn it on just in case we do need it. Um uh, not me forgetting what it was. Uh that one, that one. Right, right, right. Okay. That one, that one, and that one. Turn the power on. Bam. I still haven't found any uh, wiring for black and red yet, by the way. Okay, we're going, going. Uh, we don't need to turn that on because uh, that's just used to either power the spotlight or to go outside. And if we go outside, we die um, because we have, a, we have an X over this that just like, hey, don't do it. Um, okay, so now... We're gonna figure this uh, this thing out right here. So, for this machine, we need to have these two lights and those two lights on. Hold on, everything's like connected here. Mines notes, that is right there. Connected, connected, right. Okay. So now we have to figure out how do we do this. So let me just like look at this real quick and just kind of like do in my mind real quick. So if we turn that on, we need to do that. If we hit the top middle one, that brings up the three. That turns the right one on. But we also want to... <sighs> do that top middle one, all three turn on. So we need to turn off the top right one. So we hit the middle right one. That turns off the top right one and turns on... Turns off, and then that turns on the bottom right one. But we still need to... Ah, dude, it's it, it's it's kind of like chess, dude. You just got oh fuck that turns that on. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Shit, Joe. <laughs> this is hard, man. These kind of puzzles are fun, but they're they're very difficult. Um, okay, we do that. Then we do that. Do that. And we don't want that. Oh, we're so close, man. Fuck me. Fuck me. We're so close. Um... Damn it. Now we're in this situation again where we just need this light off. <sighs> puzzles are fun. I love puzzles so much. I actually do. This is very, this is, this is incredible for me. I'm having a blast right now. I love puzzles so much, man. Okay. Wait. What if I did this? Oh my god, we're so close. We're so fucking close, man. <laughs> mm, I'm just pressing buttons at this point, sorry. Um... What's the situation that we need? What's the situation that we need to... Okay. We need a situation to where we can, like, hit a button that turns them off and then brings these two on. So in order to do that, we're going to need to do that. Do that. Let me do this. Then we can um, do that. 
we do that? Turn that on. Do that. Ooh, dude. Well, guess who? I'm gonna keep working on this until it gets to 10.30, and then, or probably like 10.15, and then we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna hide in this closet, because this is where the killer comes out. The killer comes out of here. The homunculus does. So we're gonna keep trying to figure this out until, like, 10 o'clock. If we can't, Okay, hey, we'll get it next time. Hmm. Fuck. The, li the lightning- I know 915 is when the lightning strikes, man, but it scares me every time. God damn it. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So we gotta get a situation to where we can have that right there. That turns those both those on. So we need to get a situation where we have this and this turn on, and then we can get a situation where this and this turns on. So let's try to go for that. Damn. So close. Okay, it's getting close. It's getting close. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide in here so he goes past, and then we're gonna run in there. We're out. Dude, this is actually sick because we're gonna see him, see the monkeys come out of this room. Watch this. Watch this, dude. He's gonna do this. He's gonna come out. We get to see exactly what time the monkeys comes out of this room. It, this will be chaos. This will be very creepy warning. Creepy warning. Alarm. Creepy warning. Let's see it. Let's see them come out. God, dude, I'm I'm going to figure out that goddamn puzzle. Is it ten fifteen when they come out? No, it's ten thirty. Okay, sorry, we got in there a bit early, but it's fine. We're just chilling. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. I greatly appreciate you. Thanks for vibing and lurking with me today. Let's see here. Oh, God! She freaked me out. <laughs> she freaked me the fuck out, man. <laughs> Oh, is it like 1045? Okay, it's 1045 when he comes out. Okay. God damn, I just like, I killed so much time. God damn it. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. It's a whole learning process. This is why this game is so sick, dude. We're learning so much on like what time happens. I got a little saving icon in the bottom right. Ten forty five is when it happens. Okay. Oh, interesting. They like turn around. Okay. Okay, they just murdered. We're gonna go over here. Um We're gonna do this, this. Oh my God, this is like that sound. It's, oh, what was the sound? Oh my God, it was like, oh God, what was the sound that that thing made, man? This is in order to open that locker in the basement because you hit that sound, it's like, or, 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 or whatever.
Yeah, right, Chaos? Yeah, he looks but they look behind them, just in case you do do that. That's really funny. You make a good point. Um... No. I don't know. Oh, wait, what the fuck? <gasps> okay. It's definitely that sound. Is it that? It's not that. Oh my god. Oh god, I think he's coming up here. Oh god! Hello, hello. Uh, look at schematics, look at schematics. Look, look at the schematic! Look at it before we die! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was like, look at something, man! <laughs> Damn it. Ooh. Okay. I do like that, even though we do die, it's it doesn't just teleport us back to the house. It gives us these cool cutscenes. Uh, okay. Oh, look, there's Pete in the back. And on the far left there. Pete is the only friend that's not here, by the way, in the house. Oh, who's that person on the far right? With the glasses. Um, I'm kind of covering them up. Hope getting out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Oh, uh, hello. Emily, for real, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except trees, and then once every hour we'd see cows or something. At one point, we stopped at one of those uh, roadside boiled peanut stands and we saw the guy ladle some of the hot nut water hot nut water into his mouth so we left without getting anything oh my god it sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny i should tell a trusted adult right away this is a girl yep lara did joke just go over my head i feel like this is one of those emily Fran francinisms and none of us speak that language wait you guys don't know the story so, like, do you guys remember when the local art arts council held that mini con in the spring? I got a booth and was crunching like crazy to turn out little paintings and signs while also doing homework poorly. And because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make her life easier. That and I want an excuse to hang out and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed, uh, very glossy, nice uh, auto bio signs. Get them, get back to the con just in time for the show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out because I was nervous about full blends and whatnot. And when I opened the box, it's not my signs. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets. Like the kind you get in Dare or the one assholes leave instead of tips. Oh my god. You know, I'm so glad that never happened to me when I was serving at like Olive Garden. Where like, they're like, oh hey, you know, instead of payment. Here's this for you. God loves you or some shit like that. I'm like, so glad that never happened to me. They were chick tracked uh, adjacent and people are already in the hall browsing. I'm panicking because the print job was expensive. I was helping to make my money back. And now I have a box of the shit people tried to hand you at the grocery store. And the booth next to us saw the whole thing and want to read them. I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on planet Earth for ruining my friend's show. <laughs> then Emily's fans... Uh, that Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says $1, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Oh, shit. Oh, Titan, welcome in. Dude, thank you so much for the lurk. No, dude, you're good. Hell body is going incredible, dude. This game is so fucking sick. I love how much puzzle solving is in this game. Um, it's definitely spooky, uh, but not like super spooky because you kind of like know what happens after like the first time, but still gets you a little bit. Uh, this game is is fire definitely like one of my favorite horror games i think like this is really fun turns out disaffected stoners really love dare uh ephemera ever since ever since little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop into my head drinking ain't cool don't be a fool R R radon might be right behind you or radon radon might be right behind you i learned i, re I learned chaos don't get fried, stay inside. 
I love all of these. Uh, don't get fried. We love getting fried, dude. Let's go. Don't get fried. Stay inside. Was that about, like, staying away from downed power lines? No, but may as well have been. It was about staying inside during thunderstorms. Christ, as a kid, I loved swimming during thunderstorms. It was such a thrill. And that's why you're a bad influence. Francine, you made the best mistake possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the crispy cream employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts that got stuck in the production line and having an explicable panic attack in the pa parking lot. No one needs to see that. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. Ripped ya. So you really took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Don't get fried, stay inside is like almost literally something I've heard you say. I remember one summer you wouldn't stop talking about tornadoes for weeks. You know what? I just realized I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. Okay. It's messed up they don't just let you have the donuts. I mean, they're just going to go in the trash anyways. True. Oh, shit. We're in the bedroom. Big regret. Yo, same, dude. <laughs> M, you doing okay in there? Yeah, I just needed a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I would bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them, and I, I don't think they're here, so now I'm curled up in a ball trying not to hyperventilate. Yeah, damn. Poor, poor Emily. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this on in a while. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. I think I can only do that because Francine's uh, wingmanning me. It's embarrassing. When we met I, I met, I was all Captain Cool, helping Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. True, Joe. Absolutely. Do they like me or do they just like whoever that was. Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine, you're safe, they missed you. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. <laughs> Come on, I'm making tea. Interesting. There is a tea kettle. That's interesting they showed that because there's a tea kettle we can turn on in the house that we're, we're stuck in. But we can't turn it off, which is interesting. What, did you need a pair of binoculars to find that pair of binoculars? <laughs> Good one, dude. Get your feet off my table. Jesus, so why are you, my mom? I just want you to ruin my table. I eat on that. Yeah, Cliff. What the fuck? There's like plates on there and shit. Cliff, we need to talk about that binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. Damn. What was she looking at? Em, it's okay. Laura turned it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like you're worried about me ruining your table? I mean, dude, I always check to make... Who else also checks to make sure all the, like, oven-like th things are turned off before uh, you leave the house or whatever? I normally do that for uh, when I'm living in a place that has, like, gas stoves. Um, we have an electric stove here, so it's not that serious if we, like, leave it on, I guess. But still, like, you don't want to leave that shit on. Me? That's me, dude. Absolutely. Because you don't want to burn the house down. I remember a co-worker when I used to work at Kohl's um, was telling me about her boyfriend accidentally left that on. And, like... They, there was, like, a gas, like, throughout the house. And, like, if you lit a flame, it would have, like, blown up the apartment. And so they had to get, like, like let the whole, like, place air out or else it was going to fucking explode. Which is fucking insane. So, yeah, ever since I, I heard that story, I was like, I always check, dude. I always fucking check. Um, Cliff? Cool it. Damn. I'm just messing around. Dude, Cliff is a little turd. I'll say it. I'll say it for everybody. Cliff is a turd. You got, you guys' uh, apartment is so cute. They, this seems like a really nice area. We'll even be able to see the shower out here with all the light pollution. Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the 
uh, the purse sides. Hot nut water guy got me thinking <laughs> that the hot nut water would probably be pretty good. Super umami, yeah. Obviously, but hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like... God, dude, I... <laughs> hot nut water guy. Why do y'all keep saying it, man? <laughs> Patrick, in a video game? Patrick, please. Hi, Patrick. Hope you're doing so today. <laughs> Patrick, don't do that. No. <laughs> Patrick, no. <laughs> Patrick likes to li live life on the edge, dude. It's like, ha, 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 arson. Let's go. Um... Oh, but hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. True, dude. Sometimes just, like, living life by the wind is, like, the best way to do it. You can't control anything, you know? It's really hard to control things You're that, that wants to be in your favor. Like Liam! Shine, Shine bright like a tur twig. twig. Shine, Shine bright, bright like, like a tur twig. twig. You're beautiful, Hi. like turtwigs in the sky. Congrats on the uh, shiny turtwig match. <laughs> Liam, thank you so much for the 21 months, ja, you absolute gosh gamer. You're vibing, dude. Welcome in. 10 years already, dude. It's fucking insane. 21 years later and you're still here. Thank you so much, Liam. Liam, I hope you're doing swallow today, dude. Good to see ya. Uh, just go with the flow. Yeah, like that time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow signs for a family fun center. I hope you're doing Swalcha today, Liam. And we ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no signs of escape. Totally. The creaking of distant rocking chair, unreadable old billboards bleached white by the sun. God love that uh, percolating sense of unknowable danger. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. What are we going to get for dinner? I could go for some za. Oh, some za. Dude, I haven't had za in such a long time. I want some pizza now. You are? Let's fucking go, dude. Hell yeah. I think we can do better than za. Emily, you live here. Where should we uh, get food? There's a really great pl Thai place down the street. Ooh, there's a dinky little diner with one of those rotating pie cases. Ah, right around the corner, there's a super authentic Italian deli. Oh, guys, what should we do? I, I'm always down for Thai food, dude. Thai food is chef's kiss. Let's do that. Sure, yeah. Let's just get a pizza. What do you mean? You're not even letting me make decisions here, bro? But hey, it's fine. We're getting pizza. Let's fucking go. On Pizza Friday, dude? Yeah, you know it. You fucking know it, dude. In that case, we better get going. We're going to get to, get to Domino's before the close. Domino's! Let's go! Domino's is the best pizza place. Changed my mind. Crud. Okay, let me just do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, are you still worried about your knobs? It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming into the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas and nobody was around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot light? Light? They had one job, dude. <laughs> I'm taking heat for the binocular joke and you can get away with that one? Right? Anyway, with the pilot light off, the room just slowly swelled with, glass, with gas, dude. By the time the landlord finally came by, shut off the valve, the apartment was so... F oh my god! This is literally what I was talking about! This is really what happened to my co-worker! The apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had bowed out from the pressure. Okay, it wasn't that much, but that's still fucking insane. That's so funny. What are the chances? I worry about that, too. The thing uh, that, uh... The thing that bothers me is, like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? Are my lungs getting, like, all burned up from the inside? Won't the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. <laughs> Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster come to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. Okay, Pete. Pete, you are so fucking creepy. What the fuck is up with Pete? Hello. Ex okay. Pete's just not saying nothing. I'm freaked out. Pete Pete is literally just like this. Just like... Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. This sounds, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. That's just what I'm talking about. He literally didn't say anything. Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. Oh my god, no, don't do that. That's so... 
I hate I hate that I did that. See, and did we all die in Blazing Inferno? No, so you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. What the fuck? Emily? I don't like these sounds. Pete is <laughs> the W on the back. True. It is a pizza Friday. I know, please. Pizza's a Friday, bro. Let's go. Z -z 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 -z. Okay, okay. Oh, I I need to um I need to go down there and listen to the sound again. That was a whole fucking dialogue we just listened to, dude. Okay, let's listen to this. Okay, so it's like a it's a high pitched. It's high, low, middle. I'm just gonna listen to it a couple more times so I just have it in my brain. One more time. Yeah, that was a flashback, Patrick. It was. Whenever we die, we get a flashback that kind of, like, g gives us some lore about, like, Emily and her friends, which is very interesting. Yeah, right, Patrick? Dude, I haven't seen a lot of people check this game out, and that's why I'm so glad to be playing it right now, because I, like, I got on sale, and, like, dude, this game is so sick. I need... You You should play this. Like, this game's really fun. It, it has a lot of puzzles, though, so I can see if that's not a lot of people's, like, forte. But this game is sick as fuck, dude. It's super fun. The Game Grumps, how they do it? They killed it again. Dream Daddy was a banger, right? And now this? Like, how? How, they, how do they do it? Just turn this on, just in case. Dude, I love puzzles. Dude, you will love this game then, Patrick. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. You can just... Wait, I just heard something like... Unlock? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was, but... Okay, that's just a window. Dude, you will love this game. Yeah, Dream Daddy was. It was, Titan. And that's how Ray uh, became, uh, was one of the voices, because Ray knows uh, Aaron and Dan. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. Okay, so at 1045, we're going to figure out this fucking puzzle, man. <sighs> let's do that, and then let's do that. Try and think of a line that we can do here. No. No, that just does everything right there. We're trying to get um try and get the top those two and those two lit with everything else off. Yeah, they are two, two for two on great games. Like, legit. Mmm. Okay, this is what we need to do. No, because we still need this one lit. Damn. Okay, <laughs> I got them all on, everybody. Let's fucking go. Um... Dude, this puzzle is hard. <laughs> I love it. I actually love how difficult this puzzle is. Like, it's actually sick as fuck. Your partner and I have only really gotten onto them earlier this year. 
into the, them this year. Dude, they you you have so much Game Grumps content too. I'm actually jealous of you. I'm actually jealous of you, Tyne, because Game Grumps are fucking hilarious. Holy shit. Dude, you are in for a treat. There's so much good content that you get to watch, dude. Uh, if I could give you a recommendation on what to watch, um, the Kirby Golf Game is, I forget what it's called, but it's like a game where they play Kirby, but it's like a golf game where they're trying to get into the holes. That is one of the best playthroughs. It has so many fucking hilarious moments. Go watch that one. Go watch that one. The Kirby Golf one is so fucking funny, dude. The, the Barack Obama voice shit, dude, will make you fucking cry laughing. That one's so good. That's my recommendation for you to watch next. It's, it's fucking incredible. Michelle, uh... <laughs> I'm already laughing thinking about it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but dude, I promise it's fucking hilarious. Kirby Stream Course! That's what it's called! The Kirby Golf Custom Maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kirby Stream. Oh my god. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you. Yeah, that one's fucking hilarious, dude. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Fuck, that scared me. It scares me every time. God damn it. <laughs> um. So, sorry. I'm trying to think. We need to have these columns on, but we need to have this off. Wait. Oh, I thought that was it. Damn it. I thought I had it for a second. Damn it. You have that off. Turn that on. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm so close to figuring out this puzzle, y'all. Holy shit. Damn it. <laughs> Dude freaked me out. Um, bro. Help. <laughs> Help, I'm so close. Um, okay, okay. God damn it. Nope. Ah, <sighs> these two and these two, man. I'm just pressing random shit, please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, please. Oh man, what they had to do the top left two and the bottom right two, dude. We shall watch that tonight, yo. Do it, dude. Okay, we're gonna sit in here because the guy's gonna come out. I, I, it's, we can still make this like we can still make progress on this run, by the way. Because I remember the the high pitch, the low, and the middle thing. So we're going to try doing that when this guy comes out. We're going to try to do that. We shall watch that tonight, dude. Dude, They're incredibly insightful guys. They are. They're very insightful. I love them, dude. True, Patrick. The Pokemon Fire Red one is so good. That one's fucking fire. Dude, these puzzles are... They're difficult. They're difficult, Liam. The Wind Waker one, Mario and Zelda playthrough is true. 
Okay, we're gonna try to do this. Let's look at some schematics first, though. Um, can I... Look into the elevator. Okay. That's probably how we get up. Um... Parker, I've doubt... I've tempered my doubts about the Immaculator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't some old movie se serial. Even if electricity did work that way, where are you planning to use it for? You've been watching Tears of the Kingdom, it's so good. Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you got around to silly cowboy games? Silly cowboy games. I have no idea what you're talking about, but dude, enjoy them. Yeah, thank you so much to the Lurk, Liam. I appreciate you so much, dude. Thank you. Means a lot. Soon I'll be just as... I will be just as the modern Prometheus. Red Dead 2! Oh! Right. Dude, have fun. <laughs> enjoy those. Let's read the schedule real quick. A day with Parker. Rise. Cold shower. Coffee paper. I ideation. 425. Ideation. 5 o'clock, end of the watch. Rise again, re-energized. Hot shower. Pranayama, focus on the breath. 11.30, Zazen. Ruminating upon koans most regard mostly regarding being beaten with a stick. TM, focus on intake and release of energy. 12, immaculate cleaning upkeep. 1300, center my internal locus of control. Banish external negative energy. Oh, shit. Launch. Post long chwak. Ideation. Immaculate observation slash mediation. Me meditation. Sorry. Uh, automatic drawing. Exploratory stream of uh, consciousness writing. Nightcap. Old fashioned some grass, perhaps. You just. You just eat some grass with your old fashioned, dude? Hell yeah. It's been on your backlog forever. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Patrick? Absolutely, that fucking excites me, dude. Holy shit, Slay the Spire is so good. If you ever want to, like, message me about it, dude, let me know, because I love talking about Slay the Spire. God, man. I need to start playing Slay the Spire again, because I've always wanted to get to Ascension level 20 with all the characters. It's really fucking hard to do, but... Oh, dude, that's exciting, Patrick. Fuck yeah. No, that game is so sick. Uh, Preparation for liminal dr uh, dreaming, placing a bed stand journal for later transcription during the watch if you guys don't know what slay the spire is it's a literally an incredible roguelike uh what inspired a lot of roguelikes um into what they are today you know how like on a lot of maps when you're doing a roguelike like it starts with one path and then they scatter around and stuff I i'm pretty sure it's slay the spire that inspired that kind of roguelike pathing for where you decide to go and roguelikes have just like taken that shit and like expand upon stuff but Sl i think slay the spire started that and uh it's one of the best roguelikes of all time it's really great too because it's not like air the gungeon where you need a lot of good skill it's more strategy and stuff because it's a deck building game uh fucking incredible please play if you haven't already also has a really good modding a community with it too so if you get tired of slay the spire you can download some really cool mods and stuff and like try out different uh things and stuff dude titan I will say this, like, absolutely. Make it that... If you got, like, a backlog, make that the next game you play, dude. You 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 won't regret it. It's such a goaded game. Such a goaded game. I love Slay the Spire so much, man. Um, and the adoption of Dali's famous uh, The Slumber with a key technique on which I've iterated, involving repeated periods of wakefulness, a gentle flirtation with the beginning stages of REM. Um, ooh, there was a, um, there's a star related to something. Oh, end of the watch. Asterisk. Okay, what's the asterisk re relate to? There's once a natural medieval habit of second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch. Between the first sleep and the second, this was used as the most protective time of the day in which a family accomplished most of their tasks. I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. Interesting. Oh, hell yeah, Titan. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. And Slay Spire is on Game Pass, too. So that makes it even more accessible. End of the watch. So the watch is like... In interesting a medieval habit of second sleep 
How interesting. Okay. Okay, so it's going around killing people. Let's try playing this. No, I think it needs to be that. We did it! We did it! Oh my god, we did it. What? Where did it update? Oh, this right here. Okay, so... All purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay, so that did... That updated something. We have to get down to the basement. We have to get down to the basement. I don't know where the fuck the guy is, but we have to just get down there. Because they opened this up. Check locker. An old printout reads STAY with black diamonds in between the letters. Why would anyone go through trouble of locking this away? Oh, it just keeps getting more and more complicated. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wait, ju it's just stay? What's this connect to, man? Stay. I'm trying to think of something, man, that connects to this. Fuck me. <laughs> Look into the tunnel. Look into it. There's a creepy tunnel here. I can't get in. Okay. We don't... Okay, he just murdered another thing. Inspect cable. From, for snakes down for the ceiling and disappears into a hole partway from the well. Was there something in here that, like, I missed? I don't think so. Um. Wait. I don't wanna... Why, why is it still zoomed down on this image? I wanna look at the, uh, the full picture. I don't want to look at the book clue anymore. Wait, hold on. I think it's I think it's broken. Oh no, it's broken. I think it's a glitch in the game. I can't. Uh, I won't look at the other images, but it's only looking at this book one. Well, what if I like look at the machine and I open this up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not letting me do anything. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, what about 420? How about that? 420. Damn, that's not working. Okay. Um. Oh, is it because of this? Well, let me do this again. Right, we need to make this yellow. Okay. There we go. Let me let me check all these notes. Where we suck and look to generate more power than we could use in a year. Let me inspect this pamphlet. The silent killer radon, right? This is the code to just get inside. Okay. This will be can so now be able to get down here before the power goes out. How's it not 420? I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm fucking saying. Oh god, the guy's just here. God damn it. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Okay, we're just gonna... Just gonna keep running! Just gonna keep running, smile! God dang it! <laughs> Jenny? <laughs> Jenny, please! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! We have to... I need to figure this out, bro. I need to figure this out. <laughs> uh, 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 please. Please! Please! Oh, God! I don't know how to do this puzzle! <laughs> we do that! Oh, God, he's coming. <laughs> Patrick, every time you hear Metal Pipe, it's Jenny, dude. Wait, what if we just survived until daytime? What if we just did that? Okay. He hasn't found us yet. Let's... Let's tr keep trying to solve this. Um, If we do that, then we do that. Maybe it's like... I haven't been messing with the center dot a lot. Maybe it's something to do with that. Fuck. Um, that. Then we do, like, do that. And then maybe turn that off. Do that. Um, do something like that. God damn it. But then we just need that on. And then we need to do that. And then... Bro. Okay. What if we did that? Or, no. What if we, like, did that? And then, like, we did that. But then we need to have the top left on. <sighs> Come on. I'm just, like, trying as many different, like, different things as possible. That turns that on. Well, if we do that, that turns those off. And then... Wait. We need the left one and the right one on. That's all we need. We just need the left one and the right one on. Also, how's the guy not killed me yet, by the way? <laughs> how's he not killed me? Still hasn't found me yet, by the way. Um, okay. We need to somehow figure out a way to turn the, uh, the, just the left one on and the right one on. Because we can just do bam, bam, and that'll turn, that'll get the right combination we need. Um, let me do that. Then do that. And then do, like, do that. But we need that on. So we need to turn that off. But we need to do that. Then we do that. Okay. Then what if we did that? But we need both on. Do that. Do that. Okay, now it's just center is on. Okay. That turns that on. That turns that on. Left and right columns. I feel like we're so close. Sorry, I'm trying to think for a second. <laughs> Liam, he's just like, oh, he's just like, hey, man, like, are you doing okay? I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. I'm just like, I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. Oh, my God. I definitely know what I'm doing, dude. RNG manipulation? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I need... Actually, I need, like, turn my controller around three times. Three times. Bonk it gets my head twice. Okay, now we can figure it out. Now we now we can figure it out. <laughs> this is way more irritating to me than just kill you. True. They're just seeing me struggle, just, like, pressing a bunch of buttons, like, I can't do it! Oh, God! <laughs> Hold on. So we have three light columns on left and right side. In order 
No. Yes! Yes! Go, 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 go. I figure it out. Drax, you helped me figure it out. Thank you. Welcome in. Your presence helped me figure it out. What the fuck? Examine this wire. A broken exposed wire touching this would be very bad. Oh, God. No, I killed myself. God damn it! No! I didn't think that would actually kill me. God damn it. I thought, I thought, I, I didn't think she would actually touch it, but I guess if you're just stuck in a time loop and you're just trying to figure out different things, you would shoot through that. God damn it! There's so much more to explore in that room too, man! Oh, how am I gonna get those fucking columns back on, man? I can't remember how I did it. Oh no, man. Fuck me. <sighs> Anyways. Hey, Pete, what's up? Don't. Don't the other kids seem like strangers to you? Huh? There's something kind of naive about them. It's quaint in a way, but so unlike how I remember them. So, Nest's machine seems to need power if you want to turn it on. It needs three units of power. One of them seems to be in the attic. Look for a machine connected with a conspicuous cable. Yeah, sorry, I should have looked for that, but then I electrocuted myself and uh, killed, killed myself in a video game. Uh, take care of yourself if you can. Thanks, Pete. <sighs> okay. What the fuck? Did you guys see that? Did you see that little baby around the corner? Did anybody see that? He, like, peeked around the corner. The fuck is that, bro? Oh, my God. Wait, guys. This is, like... This is still appearing right here. Um... Yo, give me a second here. I'm gonna return to the title screen really quick. And I'm gonna see or res uh, reset this. Because it's just stuck on that one clue. Okay, continue. We're probably gonna go on. Oh, what? Wait, I returned to the title screen and now we're here. <laughs> Desi, thank you for the clip. Uh, Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night, what, huh? You mean when he was ribbing me about burning to death? I think he thought he was helping. Tough love. He could have at least apologized. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. Of course, you have done the same thing for me. Remember that time we were trapped in uh, Brockridge Mall waiting for the storm to pass? Huh, yeah, actually, I was just thinking about it. Maybe because of the torrential rain. The parking lot was shaped like a bowl with the mall at the center, and the sewers were clogged and the whole thing flooded. That's bad design. They wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long we ended up having to stay the night. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator. As if the worry was already keeping me awake. Yeah, for a while you seemed really stressed. You you were sure the dome would break and the water would pour in, like it was the end of the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I think I like getting closed off like that. Always nice to have fewer variables, you know? But being able to focus on one big scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other little unknowns. Yeah, like the little baby that keeps like appearing out of nowhere? I tried to think about it like one of those uh, CD-ROM puzzles games we used to play. That's really smart. I almost let all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful, so brave, that I ended up having kind of a good time. Even though, you know, we could have drowned. What the fuck? Emily, are you okay? That was a fucked up scene. Holy shit. Yeah, I... Uh... I'm just wondering what would happen if it had kept flooding if the scene had not been able to stop it. Like, could we have done something, anything about it, or would we just be out of luck? Or are you suddenly so worried about something that already happened? 
I mean, dude, I am someone that overthinks a lot, overthinks situations a lot sometimes. I'm like, oh, what if this situation happened? What do I do? What would I do if like a tree fell on top of the house right now? What would I do? You know, and like I get lost in those kind of thoughts. So I can relate with Emily a little bit on that. So and I have to bring myself back to reality. Like, okay, that's not happened. It probably will never happen. But I can't help getting lost in those kind of thoughts, you know. Uh, sure, things went fine that night, but what about next time? You mean next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? Yeah, like those uh, two dead corpses right there, smile. Oh my god, Emily's struggling. Also, where are they walking? Uh, Francis? Um, hi. Uh, oh, you're just leaving? Okay, bye. Bye! We'll see you later. Bye, Francis. Okay, do we... Okay, it's not stuck on there anymore. We're good. Um, also, we got that. But we have to do it again, don't we? God damn it. Is the little baby gun up here again? Didn't... It did not. Okay. Um... Oh! Oh! Okay, so we just do left, right, um, bottom left, top right. Okay, we're goaded with the sauce now. God damn it, that's such a simple solution! That's such a simple solution for how much I struggled with this part! God damn it! Well, hey, now we know. Now we know. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Examine the note. <gasps> Another puzzle. Let's go. Parker, again, I was locked out of the attic today because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. I didn't understand what's so difficult about it. Uh, next time you need to get into the attic, just press the buttons in this order. God damn it. Okay, that's that's nice that they... Okay, so there's a, they give you different solutions. Uh, that's completely different from how I solved it. So, one, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. You know what's so great about that puzzle, though, is that they let you solve it in multiple different ways, which is brilliant, and I love that. I'm not saying I won't get to your puzzle. I'm saying you should install a normal lock. Okay, that's nice that they give that to you, so you don't have to keep doing that again. The devs do a really good job with this game. There's a bunch of creaking in this room. Let's flip the switch on. Inspect paper. Seven. Oh! <gasps> This is for the question mark downstairs. Guys, should we touch this wire again? Should we do it? What, what do you think will happen if I touch this wire again? Touch it? Girlfriend said to to touch it. All right. Broken so wire touching this would be very bad. I will not touch it. I will not do it. <laughs> We'll just get another cutscene. <laughs> Inspect machine. It's a box with a... I'm sorry. Jenny, we know what happens. Jenny, please. <laughs> Jenny, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I'm sorry. It's a box with three lights and a big old mad scientist switch. Looks like it provides power to the accumulator. There are three gnarly cables coming into it from above. For, or from below. Sorry. Pull the lever, crunk. Um... Okay, so we have to get pink, blue, and orange. Oh, look at this little, little horsey guy over here. That's cute. Let's check this machine. What the fuck? Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. What the fuck? Wait, let me try doing, like, uh, 10.30. Oh, you can't. There's no zero. It only It's only one through eight? Okay. That's interesting. These cables look like they carry a lot of electricity. I guess I need to follow them to the sources of power if I want to turn this thing on. Have I tried licking the wires? That's a great idea. Two of them disappear into the floor... The other goes into his spiky looking machine. Is that thing a lightning rod? Do we have anything related to a four number code? I don't believe we do. 
Um, we have this for the question mark thing down below, which is this right here. So I guess we can just go down there. We have stay. Ooh, is this? Is this related to this? Because this is kind of like in a column-like pattern. Stay. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go downstairs because like something broke apparently. Did something like break in here? Let me check. Oh, the computer has been smashed, seemingly deliberately. How could this have happened? What the fuck? Who broke it? Hello? Who smashed the computer? It wasn't like that before. Let's open this. Opens the door weird. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> oh, inspect, inspect. There's a broken piece of glass on the ground. It looks like there's layers on it, but doesn't smell anything. This is how we do it. This is stay is I knew it. I knew this is what we needed. Stay. Let's inspect this. I guess the broken glass piece came from here. The lamp opened up and uh, when I used the machine in the attic. Z A W Oh, uh, Francine, are you not concerned about what just happened here? Francine? That's the like immaculator. Oh, wow, dude. I just realized that there's like a bunch more clues and shit. So we have to spell out stay using this. Oh, God. I messed with the... I I messed with the columns a lot, so I don't know what exactly they started on. Hold on, I want to expect to this. I'm going to take a picture of this. Is this the order? Is that the order? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so. Yo, hi, Sock. I hope we're doing Swalcha today. It's so good to see you. Wait, but there's no. There's no A. There's no A. There's an S, T, and a Y, right? S, T, and a Y, but there's no A. Interesting. So, one, two, we don't know what the third one is. Wait, let me look up here again. Wait, H-A-B. Maybe we just leave the, the third one as is. Because you can see the black diamonds there, too, which is fucking incredible. Okay, okay. Um, I do want to try something out. I'm going to turn on the power. Or, no, we need to, um... We need to try the question mark shit. Two, seven, eight. There's going to be a lightning strike at 9.15, everybody. Just to let you know, for a little jump scare. 9.15 is a jump scare. What was the code that we need for this? Um, it was seven three three. Sorry, sorry. Seven three three. Hi, M. Nice. I still don't know what this has to do with thing. Hi, M. Hi, Colo. Hi, Colo. Hi, Colo. How are you, soldier? Colo, can I help you? Can I help you? Oh, you're good, sock dude. I hope you have a great rest of your day, Ja. Thank you so much for be for popping in. It really means a lot to me. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for, for hopping in for a bit. What the fuck? Where? Oh my god. This this game just keeps getting more and more crazy, dude. Crazy? So you've decided to live forever. Is this it? Is, that, is this all you ever wanted? Don't worry. It's not going to hurt. 
it's going to take a long time. Why is it why it's good to choose to be this way? This is where you belong. We've been waiting for you. This is the only logical conclusion, and you're very smart. To be where you are right now. The five commandments. He oh, this is like some Christian shit, bro. Heaven is already inside you. There's nothing wrong with lying to yourself. You never have to feel bad ever again. There are no mirrors where you're going. Nobody's going to miss you. What the fuck? Smell, you're here forever. Published by the Corporal Works of Patronage and Mercy. This sounds fucking terrible. Ein, can I help you? The fuck is happening? What's that pamphlet? Um... We have another machine. Let's read this guest book real quick. You're here forever, smile. Exactly, Jenny. A relatively short list of names dated months apart at the bottom tier list. Nest Parker M, which is the guy that owns this house. Colo! Colo, can I help you? I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Welcome in. <laughs> Stinky. Nest Parker M. Nest's handwriting is manicured and perfect. None of the other names are in the last first format. None of the others are a list, a list of middle initial. Okay, I'll, I hope that's not important. Look inside. I hate doing this. Examine lights. Is that a clue? We're trying to figure out how to turn the blue power in here, y'all. Holy shit. Let's check this machine. Um, I have no idea what this means. Can we open this door, please? Not budging. I think the locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. Oh, you think? No way, dude. Ain't no way. Dude, is this pink guy? <laughs> is, is that pink guy right there, dude? Oh my god. Okay, we're we're in here. Look at the computer. Okay, it's the same pamphlet. Applicant, Parker Nest. Application fee, plus donation, paid. Administrator note. Parker is not unlike a typical application to our society. Is this a fucking cult, bro? And across a range of social descriptors and pedigrees, he does appear to be a model applicant. Here forever, smile. Please. Colo, please. How- <laughs> Colo, there's something uh, creepy. You just spamming Todoof, and that's the only thing you've said today. <laughs> <laughs> you typed in chat today. <laughs> Please. <laughs> However, after spending time with him, I'm convinced that his suitability seems to be based on a carefully curated and performed set of behaviors, all structured around a simple assumption. He's convinced he deserves to be here. On multiple occasions where I attempted to reach out to him... Wait, I just noticed the bloody hands on the glass here. Have you... Did you notice that too? Is that... That looks like someone is like... Oh my god, what the fuck?! It looks like someone is, like, right there. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, God. They're, like, staring at you menacingly. Oh, I, I hate looking at it. Um, on multiple broad occasions where I attempted to reach out to him, he instead jumped to prove his knowledge of our organization was greater than my own. How could anyone be so obsequious and so arrogant at the same time? Application status denied. Damn. Look, there's nothing on that side, but when we look on this side, dude. <gasps> oh my god, I hate- No! 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 Uh-uh, no. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Bro. Bro, fuck this game. Oh god, I hate shit like that! Oh, dude, I hate it so much! I hate it so much! Ah! Ha! <laughs> oh, that's so creepy! <laughs> I gotta shake the creepy off, man! Oh, fuck this, dude! Fuck this shit! No! No! That's just used- and Jenny, please. <laughs> Jenny, we gotta talk after this. <laughs> Honey, sweetie, love, I love you so much. Please stop, <laughs> please stop staring at me menacingly. <laughs> but interesting, they kind of like, 
they they're like, oh, this guy knows a lot, and then they're like, um, no, we're denying him. Ah, fuck, dude. Sorry, that really freaked me out. I fucking hate that shit so much. Oh, there's a bug. I guess it's just an old analog clock. Seems to reflect reflect the current time. Oh, interesting. If you're wondering what happened to the other time clock, it's gone. M Wait, I've seen ah! the- ah! God damn it, Liam! <laughs> Liam! Uh, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> dude, I was like, I'm safe. You know, time has paused. We're good. And then something jumps out. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <sighs> I'm really freaked out right now. If you're wondering what happened to the other time clock, it's gone. Minnie's boy took it. Oh, wait. This kind of similar thing is in, um... Is in the garage. This is in the garage. Minnie's boys took it, said he was going to experiment with it for some kind of art project. <laughs> Liam, the valid. Valid as fuck. So when we all have to sign up single file to punch out every day. Just because some pompous kid wants to make some weird combination lock. Interesting. Wait, why is this broken out? Oh, this is hide? Okay, well, that ain't really gonna do anything for me, believe it or not. Okay, we have until we, we don't have a lot more moments left. Ooh, look at this pretty fish. Oh, did you see the baby? I saw him over there. He's hiding in the bushes. I saw the baby over there. What the fuck? What is happening? What is happening right now? Breaking the mold. This isn't burning plastic, totally cost for the alarm. I'm just kind of glossing over this. Cigarette machine. Oh god, it's a lot ring on a window wall, just smell the sun, as far as I want to capture a pure feeling of it's just joy you have as child's middle and cherish this way. Jones coin when I ask how the machine works, but it gives a piece of air magic so the mold. Are made of a material that arose in the presence of plastic. The first few casts of the day are pristine, finely crafted. Then the machine, Jones says, her favorite picture on the room swells with people near closing time. They all return from the commune with the machine, a new toy in hand, and sparkle in their eyes, the author included. I was able to interface with the machine last night. Fortuitous lull in the crowd it is a piece which invites you to play. The fine details of the case and the satisfaction of pressing its buzz. Dude, I'm just so freaked out by this game right now. Holy shit. I'm not quite what it's supposed to be, but I'm glad it's this. A nominal admission fee for $1 covers the expenses to run the machine. The exhibit will run until September, whereupon it will be returned to the Weintraub Center's permanent connection. Parker, I saved the last print of the last day just for you. Okay. Don't forget, the combination for the store is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. The Bolton board by the generator? I don't know how you got lost in the hedgy, hedge maze last time. It's not a big hedge maze. Why don't you even have a hedge maze in your fucking basement? What is all this? But the combination is there if you need it. It's posted on the Bolton board by the generator? Examine note. Okay. Wait. This is the video game. No shot this game is making me play the fucking video game. That you can play at the very beginning? Like on the TV? Bro. Use computer. Click to start. Oh, we're playing Minesweeper. Let's go. Oh, come on! Come on! Wait! You lose! You lose! Wait! How did- Am I just- Am I just unlucky? What was that? Oh, what? The power works in here, though. We can hide in here. 
Okay, okay. Let's check out this plaque. Wait, check check out the plaque. Smithson Museum and Botanical Gardens. That's cool. This is space. Ah! Not getting me, Jenny. You're not getting me. I was too distracted to reading. That scared me a little. I'll give you a little scare, okay? That scared me a little. This scared me as much as Liam's did, but thank you for the 50 bits, love. God dang it. How dare you try to get me so badly? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? My own girlfriend. Bad at a game made in the 90s? I know, please. I'm not bad at Minesweeper. I know how to play Minesweeper. This studio space made possible thanks to generous endowment of the Bertram and Minnie Nest, 1955. Let me try again. Let me try again. God damn it. No. Bro. Bruh. Okay, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit, bro. Zero, zero, XX. Where's that clue? It's right there. We have to hold up. Also, this like these like door column things remind me of the thing that um the guy was in front of, like the Roman wall or whatever. Minesweeper stream when? I have streamed a Minesweeper before on stream, Liam, believe it or not. I have done that before. So he said the combination of the store is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. Where's the is the generator? Also, this guy's like melted in wax. Fucking rip him. Also, it's called Mine Weeper, which is really funny. Can we click outside? You lose. God damn it. <laughs> wow, I can't even spell my name right. My own best friend can't even spell my name right. What the fuck, Kale? Friggy, you, dude. I hope you didn't swallow it today. Oh, Kale, how'd the, how'd the tattoo thing go? Are you done getting your tattoo? Or has it not happened yet? Guys, Kale's getting a really cute. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know. if I'll, Kale, do you want to tell them? Kale got a really cute tattoo today, y'all. At 6 p.m. today? Okay, bet, bet, bet. Do it. Oh, Kale's getting this really cute pumpkin, pump kaboo. Pokemon tattoo and it looks super fucking cute. Show them. Um, um, um. Let me let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it real cute, uh, real quick because it was such a cute um thing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh wait, I found it. I found it. I found the person. And then um, get what you want. Here we go. Okay, here it is. I found it. Kale is getting this one. This little cute pumpkin pumpkaboo. That's the one, right, Kale? It's gonna be so cute. Yeah, that's it. And it's gonna be like on her wrist, I think she was talking about like popping out or whatever, which I think when you're wearing like long sleeves or whatever, and I love the idea. Kale, you have inspired me. I think that's such a good idea because I love wearing a long sleeve shirt and like having something that can like pop out from your wrist or whatever is such a cute idea. God damn it. Yeah, dude, it's been a couple years since I've gotten a tattoo too. I'm like, God damn it, I want one now. I need money, bro. God damn it. Um, dude, I'm so, it'll be so perfect. I'm so excited for you, dude. Well, 6 p.m. today, but I will remember that. Twig will remember this smile. Um, But let's fucking go, dude. Hell yeah. It's going to be super cute. Um, Oh, by the way, with this, I think in order to open the garage thing, maybe we have to uh, open the lock with um, based on what time it is. I'm looking the killer. Ah! 
Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Okay, this. It's 11. Okay. Um, let's do like uh, 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 11. Uh, 50. Did that do it? Open the door. Damn it. Ah! I de I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I just take me. Just take me out. Just go. Just go, please. Oh. <laughs> Chat, this game is actually so sick, dude. Oh, oh my god! I didn't show the gameplay! I'm stupid! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry, you guys didn't even see me. Oh. I, I, got, I gotta go. I, I gotta go, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, Chad was like, this game looks great. I was like, I know, right? And then I looked at my OBS and I want to fucking scream, dude. I'm so, I, I'm a first time streamer. YouTube, I'm so sorry as well. What is happening? What is up with the Rocky horse? What is, what does all these scenes mean? Would love to see the game, guys. I'm so sorry. I got the killer to start chasing me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's happening? Before, this was Emily doing this. But that's what showed. Liam? Thank you for the 50 bits, you stinky. Great first stream. Thanks, Chad. Thank you. Ooh, pretty green hills. This is... I, I would love to go there. That looks like a nice place to go. <laughs> Liam. I... I am so fucking upset myself. I'm so sorry that you missed me just run away from the killer. I forgot to swap scenes back after I showed off Kale's tattoo, okay? Like, right after. Right after, man. It just, like, everything started fucking popping off. <sighs> A closet opening scare again? Are you gonna try snipe it, dude? Please. Please, no. You can see me scrolling through chat. You know I'm scrolling through chat because it keeps zooming in on the fucking game. God damn it. Dude, you should get some more tattoos, Liam. Do it. <sighs> okay, guys. I think I think for today that this is where I'm going to call it um, because uh, I'm very hungry. It's like almost 1 p.m. my time. I still haven't eaten any food yet. I'm very hungry. That's the only thing, dude. You know, just get, like, something cool. You could always go to the artist and say, hey, what do you feel like drawing today? Or what do you feel like tattooing today? And you could just get that. Like, something really cool, you know? Bro, got some food? And that's what I'm ending stream, okay? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Liam. Um, but before we head out, let's talk about what we're gonna do next time, right? So, let me get that off the screen. Um, God, dude. So... In order to turn, our whole goal is to turn the maculate the accumulator on, and I guess if we tur are able to power all three cables on, we'll be able to like walk through this thing and we'll like be safe again, or get out of this fucking crazy time loop that we're in. So we have to turn the purple, the or the pink, blue, and orange wires. And right now we're working on the blue, and we still have to figure out how to get into the orange door because that's in the basement. I have no idea where we get the pink wire from. Um, so yeah, we'll just figure that out next time. We gotta figure out where the generator is. There's so many stuff, man. There's so much in this game that we're trying to figure out. Um, so yeah, no, this game is sick. And also there's like a clue that we got about like the video game right here. Because like, look, if I go over here and I play this game, I won't play the game. Look, that's the same as this guy, right? That's this guy.
What if I just hold up? I'm holding up? Does nothing happen? There's something to do with this video game, man. And I don't know what it is. Let me examine the console real quick. Purred mystery. Whoa, retro. Amazing how these things feel so brilliant, yet somehow they last forever. Okay. Well, everyone, that's where we're going to end for today's session of Homebody. We're going to continue this next week. Um, I promise. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be very, very fun. This has been... A uh, homebody. I hope everybody's enjoying this as much as I have. We have made so much progress. It's actually insane. Uh, today's stream has been uh, really fun. And watch, now I'm going to be a professional streamer. Oh, whoa, I know how to swap back to this screen. Ha <laughs> ha. Spinton. Look at Spinton go. Look at him spin, bro. <laughs> Look at him spin. Oh my God. Spinton. Winton, Spinton. Winton, spin. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much, YouTube, for watching today. I got something in my eye. Okay, we're good. Uh, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you next time with Homebody. Goodbye. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Goodbye.